Okay, so we've taken care of the texture map. If we mouse over it, you'll see that it's all laid out, and it's laid it out by polygroup. So it's really easy to, to see where the head is, where the stomach area is, and of course it's really easy to retouch this in Photoshop. But now we're going to go and create the displacement and the normal map for this. What we need to do is take this down to subdivision level 1, and then we need to come to the displacement map, and we need to click on adaptive and smooth UVs. I'm going to leave the flip V off because I can do that when I export. Actually, I'll turn it on. And now I hit um, create. I think I want this on 2. And we're exporting as a 16 bit. So here we go. So I don't need to turn that on. So I go create displacement map. Now it'll take a while to do this. It pushes in and out. And you'll see it doing up the top here pushing the rays out and this will basically uh, take the geometry and push it all out and then we'll use a normal map to just refine it we could actually use the same displacement map as a bump but uh, I'm going to use a normal map different people do it, di uh, work in different ways so depending on the game you've got the requirement to do a 1024 uh, displacement map and a 1024 normal map and a 1024 texture map and that's our specification that we're working to also the polygon count cannot exceed 5000 we're well under that at 17 at 1700 and something so we're fine with all of that so I'll let this go through the motions and it will create a displacement map in here and when that's finished we'll then create the normal map and then we'll start exporting all the components. Now I want you to create a folder inside your cyborg folder called cyborg packaged. And in here is where we're going to place all of our objects and textures. As you can see it takes a while so I'll leave you now and uh, while this is doing this um, I will come back to you with the next video and actually it's finished there there it is so that's our displacement map there so okay so now I want to create a and you can see that it's displaced it there it is and there's my displacement on this low res model it's not bad it's quite good isn't it you can see faceting but that can be smoothed out using the smooth in Maya okay that's good so now the next thing I'm going to do is just turn this off come down to normal map and I'm going to tangent adaptive smooth UVs and create normal map And there we go. There's our normal map exported as well. You can see the size 1024 and 1024 and 1024. Now, just looking at this with the display on, it might be okay, but it might not. So I might actually have to go up a subdivision level. But if I do that, it's going to take me over the threshold of 5000. So if I put it to this, it's now 7,000. 
So what I could use is a plugin called Decimation Master, which is here. And I could decimate this model down to 5,000. But I think I'm going to be okay with leaving it on level 1. So I'm going to do that for now. And we'll just see how it goes. But I might go in and use decimation. But basically, if you're over the polygon count, then you will need to use Decimation Master. So definitely read up about that on Pixelogic's website. You can download the plugin for it. And uh, that's all I'm going to cover of Decimation Master is just to you to read up about it and learn how to decimate the model yourself and trial and error um, testing on it. Just so that you know that you're aware that it's there. So let's, um, in the next lesson, we're going to export uh, the texture map, displacement map, and the normal map. And we're going to obviously uh, export the model as well. And you can now, knowing these, you don't, with the eyes, all you need to do is a texture map. You don't need to do displacement or normal because it's just a sphere. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson where we will export all of the components.